is able to do exceedingly far above all that we ask or imagine to you alone be all the glory in Jesus name we have prayed please have your seat please help me with a little volume I'm a bit stressed we'll just run quickly through God's word tonight and um, see how God helps us tonight I'm talking on the Esther's anointing please get your writing material ready I told us there are times where God feel like speaking to a man and there are times where God is motivated to speak because you are writing there are times where God feel like speaking to his creation but there are times where he is motivated to speak because he is a man writing so learn to write and learn to document every time God had an encounter with a man in scripture one thing he always tells them is write it down you must show you know your ability to write things down is your physical expression of your appreciation or honor for revelation so it shows to God that you are very you feel honored for the revelation is about to release to imagine if all the events of scriptures were not written down we possibly wouldn't have had a bible today and we would just um be walking by yes say what they said this one said it like that so it's always wisdom we document the esther's anointing Esther chapter 2 and verse 12 tells us about the story of Esther. How that she, among other maid, had um, the ability to be among those who we go through or before the king. Because the king had a need to select a new wife. After that, um, his former queen called Queen Vashti disobeyed his instruction. And um, he had a need to search for a new queen. And so Esther was privileged to be among them. And that's the situation of we believers and Christians. When God is so desirous to display his glory, because that's what our King says, as depending on the version you are using. He said, please call me Quish Vasti. Let us show to the nations of the world my beauty. Are we together? But the Bible says the queen said, I won't come. And that's how it is when God decides to lift up a man and say, I want to use you to showcase my glory to the world. And the man feels like, I'm not interested. Then God actually looks for another replacement. Do we understand that? That's how the kingdom works. That's how the kingdom operates. So Esther was subjected to six months of mayor and six months of sweet orders just to prepare herself for this exercised to be among those that will be selected to be the king's new bride the esther's anointing the esther's anointing is the anointing responsible for favor the esther's anointing is the anointing responsible for favor luke chapter 2 and verse 52 the bible says and that christ jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and he found favor before god and man so if favor was an essential virtue for jesus existence on earth it simply means you can do without the instrumentality of favor god has configured life in such a way that we are not to get everything we need by just our labor alone are we going to labor yes are we going to work out yes but to, to prove that his hands is involved in our fears there must be the element of favor in a man's life every greatness has a memory of favor every testimony every story of grass to grace has a memory of the touch of favor being involved money most of the times is not just the capital psalm 44 and verse 3 the bible says that they got not the land by their own sword neither did their right hand save them but because thou lifted up the light of thy countenance upon them and thou hast a favor on them so money is not the only thing we call capital favor is also a capital it can buy you landed properties favor can buy you access how do i know the bible says and joseph was kept in the prison and after interpreting the dream of the butler and the baker which signifies the communion the bread being broken and the blood restored the bible says at the departure of the butler he said to him when it is good for you please remember me 
he would have died a pauper in the prison if not for the instrumentality of favor favor can buy you access favor can buy you properties favor can take you to places even money cannot carry you into every life that experienced the absence of favor is a life that will leave the earth with struggles Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 the Bible says and God granted them favor give me that scripture before the Egyptians so that they will not leave Egypt empty handed so when favor is absent in the life of a man that man goes through life what? empty handed put your hand on your head and say I will not go through life empty handed pray that prayer one minute every generational course today we are praying especially for families and that's why I'm teaching on this I came to give you a gift I came to pray and prophesy the release of a strange unction upon you that you will watch your life from today and say can this thing really happen is this how they say it Lord Paredo Shatakabando Zigidalahasai Ababababaregeto if you pray with fervency then you are the one it is dropping on I will not go through life empty handed in Jesus name we pray one day of favor can swallow your years of struggles sometimes you don't need many favors just one are we together favor can transform years into seconds favor can turn seasons to become moments that's the mystery of favor very quickly how to provoke favor by biblical keys to provoking favor number one new birth and righteous living Luke 15 20 Psalm 5 and verse 12 new birth and righteous living so when we talked about favor favor is for God's children the Bible says he won't give the children's meat to the dogs so there are starting things reserved for children you must be born again and you must live righteously Psalm 5 and verse 12 give me that scripture it says, I will compass my chosen one with favor as with what a shield I will compass my chosen one with favor as with a shield. So you must be born again to enjoy this unction of favor and you must live rightly. Number two, you must learn to sow seeds of favor. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. The Bible says there, whatever a man soweth, that is what he will what? reap. If you sow money, you will reap money. If you sow honor, you will reap honor. If you sow favor, you will reap favor. That's the basis of the covenant. Daniel 11 and verse 32. He said, those that deal treacherously against the covenant shall be utterly destroyed. When you break, see what is the covenant? Covenant is doing what is required to get what you require. That's covenant. Are we together? Doing what is required by the basis of God's word and scriptures to get what you require. So, so seeds of favor. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 8. The Bible says that what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Some of you, you need to change your behavior. You, are, you, you, have, you, you don't have a good heart. It's not as if you have the spirit of rejection on your life, but you are reaping the things you are sowing. Are we together? Tell your neighbor, have a good heart. Some people have the, the face of a dove, but the heart of a beast. The Bible says God is not mocked. You don't play smart on him. What you sow, you reap. What you make happen for others, God makes happen for you. And you know the good thing about seed? It doesn't come back the way it is being sowed. It is full measure. Pressed down. Shaking together. So when you sow wahala, your own comes full measure. Pre because it is impossible for the corn of wheat to die and abide alone. It grows to multiply. You sow hatred, full measure. Press down shaking together are we together tell your neighbor have a good heart say it like you mean it have a good heart say it like you mean it have a good heart be good to people every opportunity you have be good to people 
what you are doing is that you are sowing a seed that will come back to you. There's a quote I like saying to my sons and daughters that life sometimes watch behind the scene like a personality, seeing how you use your today to reward you for tomorrow. Do we understand that? So live life with that consciousness daily that your tomorrow will be a sum total of how, of how you are living what? Your today. Don't live carelessly and just feel when it's time I will change. But you have some seeds on the earth and they are germinating. Tell your neighbor, ends for to know, don't sow wrong seeds. Number three, keeping company with the favored. How do you provoke favor? When you keep company with the favored, Proverbs 13 and verse 20, the Bible says, He that is with the wise shall become wise, but the companions of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13 and verse 20, Genesis 30 and verse 27, Laban said to jo Jacob, He said, I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me because of you. I have learned by experience that the Lord had blessed me. I did a study. I checked my life, how it was before you came. And I discovered that your association brought me increase. Listen, there are things you will not get by revelation but by relationship. Keeping in with the favor until you are concerned with your company. You are not concerned about your destiny. Are we together? Until you are concerned about your company, you are not concerned about your just destiny. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 10 to 12. Let me teach you something very profound about the mystery of company and connection. You know, your company determines what accompany you. The Bible says, and that the prophet Samuel told the, um, Saul that just go on your way see the bands of prophets prophesying and when you join that company the gift of prophecy will rub on you so it simply means even certain gifts of the spirit are contagious by the vantage point of association there are impactations that takes place through associations also there are implantations that takes place through association I taught my sons in my specialized class, Amos chapter 7. He said, I was not a prophet. Neither was I a, the son of a prophet, but I was called to professor. That's what we call implantation. It's not your calling. They forced it into you. By the vantage point of an impactation. Do we understand that? Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. In Jesus' name we pray. Number four. How do you provoke favor? Have a touch of excellence. Have a touch of excellence. Excellence is doing a common thing in an uncommon way and uncommonly well. Excellence is doing a common thing in an uncommon way and uncommonly well. There are things you the people will pay you extra. Is that not so? They will pay you extra for it. Imagine Daniel being recommended after several kings just because it was discovered that he had the spirit of what? Excellence. They don't like me, that is why. You are not good. <laughs> Tell your neighbor sometimes it's that you are not good. Say it now. I'm here. They won't beat you. Because some of you hide under John. I told you you have a baby saloon. You can speak in tongues and you bab somebody they turn to virtue. When you are done, you pour it on their head. You are terrible. Are we together? Make excellence a lifestyle. It's something you must add to your Christian faith. The Bible says, and add this, add this, add this, add this. It says, if you do this, you will stand well. Are we together? Make excellence what? A lifestyle. Hear me. Kings will never come down to your level of mediocrity. They expect you to jack up to their level of excellence. The world will not forgive you for that. They expect you to force yourself to climb to their level of excellence. Number five. Okay, you see that in Daniel chapter 6 and verse 3. Daniel 1, 20 and Daniel chapter 2, verse 12 to 16. Number five. Solve problems. Solve problems. Anytime you solve problems for those in palace, you don't lobby. Once you are important, once you are valuable, you are needed. Are we together? Once you are valuable, 
you are needed. Increase your value. Solve problems. Don't run away from problems. The currency of favor begins to flow when you solve problems. The more problems you solve, the more favor you enjoy. Joseph solved the problem, interpreted the dream of the king, and he found himself in the palace. Not just because of that alone. When it was time to give the best solution and option, the king said, There is no one found worthy more than you, and made him a minister. Daniel solved the problem. When he was promoted, he was favored. In fact, his favor came to a point even the kingdom benefited from it. Nebuchadnezzar said, nobody should serve any God in this kingdom except your God. Are we together? David solved the problem. He went to give brother and saw a Philistine harassing the God of Israel. And he said, God, what will be given to this guy, this, someone that can take, take care of this? Something that the elder ones were running away from. The appearance of problems signifies the season of announcement and lifting. Anytime you see a problem, anytime you see a Goliath, is that a David is about to be announced. Stop running from problems. The things you run from might be what's needed for your lifting. Are we together? The things you are running for that you count that difficult might be what is necessary for your lifting. There is no promotion in the comfort zone. Are we together? There is no promotion there. Every man lifted in scripture solved problems. You want to enjoy favor? Solve problems. Don't run away from problem. Tell your neighbor, don't run away from problem. Number six, honor your superiors. Honor your superiors. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 5 to 8. He said, and um, servants, be to your masters. Genesis 39 and verse 4. We saw how Joseph, um, Joseph was promoted too because of his honor for his superiors. The authority you cannot respect cannot favor you. Are we together? The authority you cannot respect cannot what? Favor you. Learn to honor your superiors. Number seven, walk in integrity. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 3 to 4. Walk in integrity until you are born again. In certain aspects of life, like money, you are not born again at all. Walk in what? Integrity. It stay humble. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33. Stay humble. Number 9, favor God's kingdom. Psalm chapter 102, verse 12 to 4. Favor God's kingdom. The level to which you favor God's kingdom is the level to which he pours his favor on your life. The Bible says, and I will arise and have mercy on Zion. For the set time to favor her has come. For she favored the stone thereof and the dust of Zion. The level to which you favor God's kingdom is the level to which God will favor your life. Your life access to favor is tied to your commitment to the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33, when you seek first the kingdom, every other thing shall be added to you. Very quickly, hindrances to favor. Number one, ungratefulness. Ungratefulness. Malachi 2 and verse 2. The Bible says, And because these people are ungrateful, therefore will I curse them. So every act of ungratefulness attracts a curse. Every act of ungratefulness attracts a curse. Now that's in the aspect of God. When people do things for you, tell them thank you. Some of you, the altar and the foundations of your family is holding you bound that you can never open your mouth to say thank you. Ungratefulness is some of the hindrance to favor. Nobody likes an ungrateful person. Is that okay? God do something for you, thank him. People do something for you, tell them thank you. No matter how little it is in your as long as they went all the way to get that done for you, please say thank you. Number two, pride. Pride, James 1 verse 6. First Peter 5 5, he said, He gave out more grace to the humble, but he resisted the proud. God will never make favor come the way of a proud man. So live a life of what? Humility. Tell your neighbor, live a life of humility. Say it like immediately a life of humility. Number three, when you deliberately ignore divine instruction. When you deliberately ignore divine instruction, 
1 Samuel chapter 15, 22 to 23, God told Sam, um, the um, king saw, go kill the Amalekites, spare nothing. And he decided to adjust the instruction. He spared some of the fat rams and speared the king. And he said, I wanted to use it to offer sacrifice to my God. And Samuel said to him, to obey is better than sacrifice. Because you have disobeyed God, now therefore God has rejected you. The opposite of favor is rejection. Can I declare, everyone on whose head the garment of rejection is lying, it is set on fire now. From today you will not be rejected. In the name of Jesus, keys that sustains divine favor. Keys that sustains divine favor. Number one, wisdom. Proverbs 8, 32 to 35. Bible says if you got wisdom, it will bring you favor. Wisdom. Number two, diligence. Proverbs 22 and verse 29, the Bible says, Show me a man that is diligent and skillful in his business. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before ordinary men. Diligence. Nobody likes a la lazy person. Is that not so? Do you like to work with lazy people? They burden you. Please. Be diligent in whatever assignment you are doing, anywhere you are working, put diligence into it and you attract favor. Number three, good understanding. Proverbs 13, verse 15, the Bible says, Good understanding procureth favor. So if you want favor, have understanding of the area you want favor. Know your honors in whatever you are doing. You will seek favor in that aspect. Is that okay? Don't hide under religion and offer terrible products and services to people. And very quickly, and this is where I'll round up today, the physicality of favor, and that's my emphasis. I just need to give us the foundation above. The physicality of favor. So what do we mean by the physicality of favor? And that's the basic part that sponsors the spiritual aspect of the anointing of favor. Because I can put the anointing of favor on your life right now and you still be experiencing rejection. Because you don't know the physical part of it. Are we together? So these are physical attributes that support the spirituality of favor manifesting upon the life of a man. Number one is character. Your attitude determines your attitude in life. Sometimes it's not many people don't like you. You just need to change your character. Tell your neighbor as if people don't like you. You need to change your character. You can have the face of a dove, say it. And the heart of a beast. Say it again, you can have the face of a dove and carry the heart of a beast. Change your character. Because some of you think your problem is altar. Sometimes it's not altar. There is nobody fighting your village. If they won't fight you, you won't be alive. Are we together? They are not fighting you. You are the weapon fashioning against yourself. You have dead sea characters and behavior. Are we together? Dead sea. Some of you have poor value system. You talk to be disdain. Without a sense of honor and dignity. Without respect. It's a terrible behavior. Poor value system. Terrible upbringing. And when you see people like that, you don't like to favor them. Are we together? No sense of morality. Are we together? Some of you, you are proud and arrogant. You can't say, I'm sorry. You carry yourself up everywhere. People say, Leave, let me see how far you go. Since you feel you can't do it alone. Say, listen, there are no great men, only heft men. What did I say again? There are no great men, only heft men, who were helped by God and helped by those God chose on the head to use to help them. No great men. That's why I said every great destiny carries a memory of favor. Some of you, your problem is a sense of entitlement. Entitled. You just feel everybody should be under you. Everybody should respect you. Everybody should greet you. I've told you, this, if you work with me very well, you know one of the things you can never use to freak me is greeting. Greeting is simply courtesy. It's no honor. Especially, I can't believe one person respects me by kneeling down. Because they kneel down for anything. When they are in front of Shago, they kneel down. When anything, they kneel down. So how, how do you want me to believe you? And some people can be leaning down but standing in their heart. <laughs> you don't know it's <laughs> So how do you want me to accept that? It's courtesy. 
Sometimes I pick my phone, my children come and I greet first. How are you doing? Good morning. You carry yourself like this. They, they greet you good morning and you are broke. <laughs> Somebody said, he said, those that have not met up in life should not eat meat. <laughs> you have not met up in life, you are, you are broke on, 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 on poverty. A poor, proud man. Everything about you is pee. Poor, <laughs> poor proud destiny. <laughs> Are we together? It's terrible. I, I can assure you by the mercies of God that you know poor people are more proud than rich people. Because when they come before great people, they feel intimidated. So they are always it's just the same problem we have with short people. They, they are always they just feel you don't like you, you want to suppress them. So they they call they commensurate soreness for lack of height. They are vertically challenged. So they they, they tend to when, when you you just how you do it, they, they are like this. They they try to grow up by <laughs> is that not so? Really, they just feel you you want to take an advantage of them. Whereas it's not your fault they were short. They came like that. It was follow come. Are we together? <laughs> a sense of entitlement. A sense of entitlement. A sense of entitlement. See, there is nothing in this world. Are we together? The best of a man is still a man. Get to a point that nothing has a hold of you. Is that okay? Nothing. So one of the physicalities of favor is character. You must support physically the spiritual invisible force of favor on your life with what a good character. If you have a bad and terrible character, people will not show you favor. It doesn't matter the bundle or bottles of oil poured on your head or you being immersed in volumes of oil. Without a good character, you will frustrate the unction of favor on your life. Number two, work on your appearance. Work on your appearance. Esther did a one year preparation for a one day appointment, subjecting herself to six months of mere and six months of what? Sweet orders. Give me that scripture, Esther chapter 2 and verse 12. Work on your parents. Some of you bait with anything. Blue homo, sabulu, solo. You use it to bait. Now your body has been configured with stretch mark. Ring one, koro, koro. Ezima. You are thinking you have the spirit of rejection. You are just dirty. One time a lady came to my office. Early days when we started the ministry. And she sat in my office when she sat down the holy ghost left me i knew i was struggling so i said be fast i'm about to go out what's your problem and she said people don't like me i said zon teka balandu shkela ambogahai the lord has spoken i said go to the market buy me one pack of tura smart collection perfume buy it i will pray on it and the mystery of it i just want her to bait there was nothing spiritual about what I was doing. The problem was she was not baiting. And the heat of me now was much. It has given her body odor, cloth odor, mouth odor, every type of odor. Are we together? Listen. If you don't operate in cleanliness, what you will carry will be unclean spirit, not the Holy Spirit. That's why demons are called what? Unclean spirit. The Bible says in Exodus, it says, and you will make the anointing you will mix it with sweet incense that it will be of a sweet savour to God. Proverbs says, and perfume rejoices the heart. Perfume rejoices the heart. So that a man of hearty counsel, perfume what? Rejoices the heart. Smell nice. Some of you have terrible dress. You dress like a full honey boy walking through the university. One time one of my daughter came to my office and sat down. So I was in the office, I just came to the, to the other part of it and I cited her. And unfortunately for her, something took me to her legs and I saw bathroom slippers. So I asked her, I said, where are you coming from? She said, the hostel. I said, are you in a relationship? She said, I said, you cannot be in one. I 
the, some of you, your problem is that you are dirty. Not because people don't like you. Who wants a dirty person? Even plus all the spirit of God on us and our spirituality. Check our wives. Have you seen a pastor marrying a, an ugly? In fact, our anointing is validated by our ability to see the kind of woman we chose. Uh, and you are there, somebody's coming you, their beauty is nothing. Deceive yourself. Gone are those days where we deceive ourselves. Say, what do you want in a lady? The first is, uh, uh, I live spiritual. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, take care of yourself. Give attention to your skin, smell, and appearance. Keep yourself attractive. Learn how to talk, learn how to carry yourself. Give me first kings, first kings. Is it first kings chapter four? This chapter ten. Learn how to carry yourself. You are poor, you are not mad. Say, what if somebody don't have money? What did I say? I say it's poor, you are poor, you are not mad. Walk with high sense of majesty. There is what is called the behavior of royalty. Now the queen of Sheba heard about the, uh, Solomon's fame, connected with the name of the Lord, and came to test him with difficult questions. Next verse. Our intention was to test him with what? Difficult questions. For your understanding, this queen of Sheba traveled three years and six months. We'll talk about that some other time. She came to Jerusalem with a very large retinue, with camels bearing spices, gold in great abundance, and precious stones. She came to Solomon. So, visiting a king is that you must smell nice. Stop coming to church and you are making people uncomfortable. So, we lift up the God. There is nothing holy about this sense. Are we following? Stop making the environment affordable for others. It can affect how God blesses you that day. Because you have denied somebody from being getting from getting what? Blessed. Just well, smell nice. Some of you, you are so you are so possessed with the demon of religion that you think perfume is perfume is a sin. Even if you can't buy original one, buy Malam perfume. That one in bottle. Put it like this. And go like Shetos. And just... You are helping both yourself and the environment. Everywhere we go, MTN. It goes with you as you move. After all, the devil tells us in 2 Corinthians, we are the fragrance of Christ. We are fragrance in the air everywhere we go. Use Malam perfume. It's not cost 200, 900. They will put some for you in bottle. Are we together? It's not too expensive to look good. It's just a decision. The Bible says, and she came to Solomon and spoke to him about everything that was in her mind. Next verse. So Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing was too difficult for the king to explain to her. Next verse. When the queen of Sheba observed all of Solomon's wisdom, the palace he had built, the way he organized and arranged his home, Next verse. The food at his table. Some of you is gari, 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 gari. See, listen. I'm your pastor and I won't tell you lies. Those that are very close to me know me. I don't joke with my skin the way I don't joke. I don't joke. Because some of us, if we terrible our skin on top this size, we are finished. At least let me be slim but look fresh. So you know I'm not suffering. So if I was in that situation now, God, you know that type of man of God you see on poster and the wife like a vulture. So you are invited. You look at it, God forbid. <laughs> invited where? <laughs> His servant's residence. Are we seeing that? His attendant service and their attire. That's why when you say so good uniforms in church, we know what we are saying. You are coming to the presence of a king. Some say he's stressing me. I can't, I can't disturb myself. It doesn't matter. It matters when it is before a king you choose to appear. His cups and the bond offering he offered at the Lord 
it took her breath away. She died. You are struggling. Every lady I asked out, they say, no, copy Solomon. She will lose her breath. Away. Everything you need is not in any book. It's inside the Bible. I've just taught you how to ask a lady out. And if you are a lady, you might not comfortably ask verbally, but you can follow what we call the roots anointing. Position yourself. Is it not what you want? You can non-verbally ask him out by rightly positioning yourself. That's what Naomi taught her. He said there's a way you will position yourself that he will see you. You have a brother you like in church and you are dressed like a masquerade and you want him to ask you, ask what? You have carried his name to mount, which mountain? All those things don't work. It's a person that doesn't have good head that it will catch. You can go and use a drunkard and say let him marry me. But a sound brain that your prayer won't sit on it. Fine brother taking care of himself. You are looking like a mamalao. Then you carry it by right. Oh God, brother John. Oh God, brother John. Oh God. It won't answer. They only boy it won't answer. Are we together? So don't let your sense of spirituality kill your sense of reasoning. Are we together? Don't let your sense of spirituality key your sense of reasoning. Check what fits you. Are we together? These are, these are the physicality of favor. Rise up to your feet quickly. These are what we call the physicality of favor. I'm teaching you the missing link of what you don't know. That's why when you go to the king palaces, there is a way they behave there. There is a way they carry themselves. There is a way they talk. You enter before great um, presence of important people and you are just lounged everywhere. They like to see your comportment, your deportment. Can you manage royalty? They gave you food now. Just stretch leg. They, that they say I should feel at home. So, ah, it's as long as I had. Come on. Come on. You disgrace yourself. Disgrace me too. May God help you that they ask you the church you attend and you call grace. My angel will slap you. No, some people do things that they feel doesn't matter. And you're wondering why the force of favor being pronounced upon your head is not sitting. Listen, if I speak forth favor on your head today, it will land on you. But if you don't beat up with these physicalities of favor, number one is what? A good character. Behave well. Behave well. And number two, what? Take care of your appearance. Use good cream. How you, you are using Baba Blue? And some of you are even using Gio. That's why you are shining. They think it's anointing. You are glowing what? We know by the smell we are perceiving now that that's, this thing looks like enjoy See, some creams are not expensive, oh, but they bring out your skin. Are we together? They bring out your skin. You are already, you are, you are, you are just 20 something. You are looking like somebody that is 60. You thought that at 75 years of age, Abra a M Sarah was still being attracted by a king. At 75, you are 20 something looking for husband. Is be is beyond altar. I'm showing you the missing link now. Dress well, look smart. Young boy like you, you are just wondering. The only thing they use is economic boyfriend. When they want to solve tutorial question, they send it to you. Then fine boys with good beard set up, you know, carved face and every nice, smelling nice. Those are the the real boyfriend. You, your economic boy, they send you tutorial questions. Because look at you now, like full and you are brilliant, but you, you are you are just terrible. Your trousers is like full and boy, it's just thick that is left for you to hold. Dress very terribly. Some of you, you the, the dressing that they expect you to even dress inside a room, you will carry it and be rounding the whole school. I see some of you. And I feel ashamed on your behalf. Because they say when a leopard dance naked in the square, his kinsmen covers their hands with shame. I am ashamed on your behalf. Why? If you can dress like this to church, why can't you dress like that in school? Why can't you put your tie? Look good and look nice. Are we following? If you claim you are, you have wisdom, 
it should show in every aspect of your life. That's why I gave you the story of Solomon. We read it, right? It displayed, was displayed in everything he does. Change. Put perfume. How many of you use perfume yet? Don't lie. I want to deliver you now. Because you are in, in an environment like Mina that we sweat on daily basis. I, I was in just, I was sleeping under duvet. I'm just coming from just this morning. Under duvet. That the, I boiled water the two days I stayed there. If I rain fell yesterday in just. They told you, fell yesterday. I saw the cloud gather. Boom. Heavy rain, the whole city. January. So there was no need. I, I, it was when I came to me that I had to remove an handkerchief. I didn't use an handkerchief throughout in just. So my environment tells me that I'm sweating. I should help myself. Some of you, three days you have not bathed. You have boxers you will not wash. You are wearing it everywhere. You are so it's not just a of key that both male and female are living in the compound. Now you don't know the lady is watching you. The day you now wash the boxer, they are not taking you one. They don't know you, are, you have brought it to the default color. <laughs> that, that was the before and after of the boxers. Are we together? Please! Body odor, accumulation of dirty from different aspects of your life. Take care of yourself. Tell your neighbor, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Imagine you invite somebody to walk in your house. That's favor. Somebody recommended the person. This person is very good. But the person came in and you are perceiving things everywhere. Will you want to bring that person again? That's rejection already. Is that not so? So balance the physical parts of favor to the spiritual unction rest and you will be shocked the kind of you will receive favor today some of you the way you dress your helpers cannot help you they know you are their, they are your helpers <laughs> you are so annoying to them that you are unhappy <laughs> they are not just happy with you so they can't help you you have to present yourself to a reasonable level before you help us lift up your hands and pray tonight the lord every way i've opened the door for the spirit of rejection to operate in my life. Set me light. Thunder to prayer. Everywhere I've opened the door of rejection into my life by every form of uncleanliness, dirty characters and behavior. Everyone just hates me. Everyone have issues with me. Oh God, set me free tonight. Set me free tonight. Set me free tonight. Shela habatoza man katapharido samantro veleged hozai in Jesus name of prayer finally now that we have God's word tonight then the seal of favor can still perfectly on us are we together so go home look at the message again evaluate your life where you need to change your character please change it you can come kneel before me I put my hands I will sit so that the whole oil follow nothing will change about your life if you don't change your behavior if you don't change your character the way you coordinate yourself outside the first square of the church before the people of the world so that is them to hate Jesus. See, being a Christian is not having a Christian name but a Christian heart. A Christian lifestyle. Because of people are saying church, we do it, this one is baby. Go for it. I'd rather serve my God alone. We are accounts that people hate Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray just one prayer. Lord, let the oil of favor and the spirit of likability rest upon my life right now thunder to prayer let the oil of favor and the spirit of like a belly rest upon my life right now let the oil of favor and the spirit of likability rest upon my life right now. In Jesus' name of prayer. Lift up your prayer. Lord, I pray for your people tonight. I have given them your word. And as they put your word to work, may your favor multiply upon their life. May they enjoy favor with you from today. May they enjoy favor with you from today. I decree and declare every seal of rejection over your life, over your family is broken now. In the name of Jesus. I decree as the angel Gabriel said to Mary, you are highly favored. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. 
You are highly favored. From tonight, I declare and I declare, may the unction and the oil of favor, spirit of likability, rest upon your life now. In the name of Jesus, as you step out of this service from today, begin to enjoy strange favor. What your money not buy, may favor get them for you. In the name of Jesus, may favor give you access to melodies, access to people of influence and power. In the name of Jesus, heights your parents could not get to, I prophesy, may favor lift you beyond those heights now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. I pray for every family under the sound of my voice. And I declare and I declare every generational ancestral cause, every family battle, speak forth and end to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire of God over your homes right now to put a stop to every form of manipulation, demonic oppressions, satanic assaults, it is come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the devil have harassed your destiny, harassed your family, brought shame and reproach, held your family bound. That spell is broken now. 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 In the name of Jesus. This week, Enjoy faith. Money come to you with free calls. In the name of Jesus. Doors of favor are open for you. Favor to spread for the gospel. Favor to impart lies. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And grant you his peace. You will never be small in life. Every problem that followed you to church today, I think follow you back in the name of Jesus. Every body, every issue, every trouble of hearts that followed you to this place today, God respond to them with answer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Thank you for listening. We trust you have been blessed. You can stay empowered by connecting to us on Facebook at Grace Realm Ministries International, Instagram at Grace Realm Global, and Telegram at Grace Realm Channel. You can follow us on our online radio at www.forward/mixlr.com forward slash Grace Realm. You can also contact the following helplines: 0812 2477 859 or 